Okay, looking one more time at eye color and fruit flies, they've got another combination for us. This one's going to be a little less work, I can tell right away, because look how great this mom is. There's only one type of gamete that can come from her. She can only contribute little b and x big v. So that'll save us some work. Uh, lots of variety on the dad, though. We're going to have to foil this. There are four possible gametes that could come from dad. And they are, first, big B, X, little v. Outside, big B, Y. Inside, little b, little v, or X, little v. And little b, Y. So, we can do a Punnett thing. It'll be a 1 by 4. Dad goes there. Mom egg. No, sorry. This is the this is the egg. I, I saw Y chromosomes and realized I was talking nonsense. Mom's one egg is on the left side, and the four possible sperm cells are on the top here. Doesn't really matter which sides they go on, as I've mentioned before. So, what kind of fruit fly babies do we get from this? Big B, little B. Big V, little V. Big B, little B, X, big V, Y, two little Bs, uh, big V, little V, and two little Bs, big V, Y. Okay, so what does that all mean? Two Xs, female. Uh, X, Y, male, two X's, female, X, Y, male. As is pretty common, we get half males, half females. That's how these chromosomes tend to make things work. Now, what about the eye color? This one has big V and, sorry, big B and big V. I'm just going to check my chart, which I hope you have in front of you. That's wild type. I should have remembered that wild or red color. This male is big B, big V, so wild again. This female is recessive for the B, but has the dominant V. That combination produces brown eyes. And little B, little V, brown again. Okay, so a brown-eyed female was crossed with a vermilion-eyed male. The vermilion got run over, and we don't get any more of it. There's no vermilion offspring. They either end up wild-type or brown. And let's see. All of these offspring got a little B from mom. Some of them got a little B from dad. But the combination we needed to get vermilion eyes was big B and little v, and that never happened. Here we have big Bs being passed on, but there was no little v from the mother. That's what the problem is. To get vermilion, you need big B and little v at the same time. The trouble is, this dad isn't able to pass on both of those himself. He can pass on big V, that part's no problem, but when he tries to pass on a little V, as he does in this case, it gets run over because mom is contributing dominant Vs. And so the vermilion never gets a chance to occur. You don't have to analyze it at that level, but if you understood that, then that means you've got a good grasp on how the genotypes work, and that's helpful when you're trying to analyze a family tree. So we can see from that why the vermilion never worked out. The dad needed to get this X little V expressed. He could do it because he has a Y chromosome that doesn't drown out the little V. But in the crosses, mom kept contributing big Vs. And so every time you see a little V in both of these cases, 
this came from the dad, and right next to it is a dominant V from the mother that's overriding it. That's why the little V doesn't come through, and that's why there's no vermilion eyes in the kids.